If Buenos Aires is Tango Town, then the neighborhood of La Boca is where the tango was born. Today, visitors from all over the world flock to La Boca, this Montmartre of the tango where it all began. I'm enchanted by these gracefully entwined young bodies. Mostly, they're students earning a little extra money to make ends meet. La Boca may well be one of the busiest tourist attractions of Buenos Aires, but as I came here to find the heart and roots of the tango, it seems like the perfect place to start. What better way of learning the basics than a dancing lesson in a famous establishment of the Palermo neighborhood? Followed by a visit to the Lombard twins to see their very own individual reinterpretation of the tango. Buenos Aires is full of surprises, like getting serenaded by a tango singing taxi driver who drives me to a concert by a post-punk band called the Orquesto Típica Fernández Fierro. They have their own particular and excellent way of reappropriating the city's musical heritage. To finish off, I go dancing till dawn at a milonga. The area of La Boca is located at the mouth of the Riacuelo, which flows into the huge estuary of the Rio de la Plata. Today, La Boca is the historic neighborhood of the port of Buenos Aires. In the 19th century, this is where the people who made Argentina arrived, the Italians, Spanish, French, English and Armenians. They came with dreams of building a better life for themselves than the one they'd left behind. The immigrant family squeezed into these large houses of the neighborhood. They'd often be home to as many as ten families. The houses were called conventillos, or little convents. There's a few of them left turned into museums to remind us of that pioneering age. Viola has devoted a large part of his life to promoting this cultural legacy. He opens a door on this fascinating world which combines music, song and dance. I discover that the tango is more than just a dance. It's a way of life, an entire philosophy. <laughs> 